Owning a classic air-cooled VW means regular maintenance, which honestly is part of its charm. And valve adjustments are just one of those small rituals that keeps you connected to it. It's hands-on, a little messy, but deeply satisfying, because when you get it right, the engine just sounds happier. Your valves control how your engine breathes. The fresh air fuel in and exhaust out. If the gaps get too tight, the valves can't close properly, leading to lost compression and even burnt valves. If they're too loose, the valve timing is less efficient and additional wear from the valves pounding can occur. So it's important to get this right, not just as maintenance, but as connection. Each time you check clearances, you're sensing what it's telling you about wear, rhythm and health. This rhythm should be repeated every 3,000 miles or 5,000 kilometers, basically at every oil change. Okay, so that's the why. Now, the how can be approached in a few different ways. I suggest pick one method and just stay consistent so that you can build your rhythm and confidence. The manuals describe it like this. Start at cylinder one, top dead center. Bosch distributors have a notch that shows where number one cylinder leads should point at, and your pulley should have the notch for top dead center. If you're unsure about its markings, see our video on ignition timing, the 009, where we go into that. From here, adjust both the intake and exhaust for number one. Then rotate the crank pulley 180 degrees clockwise to move to cylinder four. Then 180 again for cylinder three. And once more for cylinder two. Some prefer reversing this order and do a one, two, three, four by rotating the pulley counterclockwise. Either way you decide, there's one problem. The pulley usually doesn't have that 180 degree turn from top dead center mark. So if you're wondering how to get it there, here's a simple trick that gives you an accurate reference. Grab a strip of paper long enough to wrap it around the pulley. Line up one end with your top dead center mark, stick it down, and wrap it snugly around until it meets itself. Mark that point and cut the strip to length. Now you can fold that strip in half and mark that fold. That's your 180 degree reference. Now you can use it to make a clean, permanent mark on your pulley. If you have ever wondered why the pulley has no 180 degree mark after decades of maintenance, it's possible this faster method was used. At cylinder number one top dead center, you'll find the intake valve on number two and the exhaust valve on number four are also closed. You should be able to feel the play. That means you can adjust half the engine valves right there. Both valves on cylinder one plus those two. Then rotate the crank a full 360 degrees to bring it to cylinder three top dead center. Now the other two intake number four and exhaust number two will be closed and you can adjust the remaining half. No 180 degree mark needed, just one full turn of the pulley and the job's done. Leave a comment with which method you use, the traditional 180 or the single 360. Once you decide on the sequence, remember stock aluminium push rods expand a lot when they're hot. The factory specs take that into consideration and stress the importance of always adjusting valves on a cold engine. You may want to remove the spark plugs for easier rotation of the engine, but it's not essential. All stock VW engines use the same 0.15 mm gap for both intake and exhaust, with the exception of some of the earlier 1200 engines that had a longer rocker arm stud. As you check and adjust each valve, look for consistency. The feeler gauge friction should be smooth with a slight drag. You want to check the push rod rotation. It should spin freely but not loosely. And learn the sound and feel of free play. Over time you'll start to hear when it's just right. 
The more times you adjust, the better your feel becomes. If you don't have already, I suggest you buy a pair of automotive stethoscopes and listen to your engine from the intake manifold and rocker cover. You'll start to recognize the difference between healthy rhythm and early warning signs. Each maintenance tells a story and that's why logging your adjustments matter. Write down what you find after every service. Valves getting loose could mean valve seat wear or head settling. Valves getting tight could hint at cam or pushrod wear or an exhaust valve stretching. Each tiny clue helps you catch trouble early. Adjusting valves might sound simple or overwhelming if you're new to it, but it's one of the best ways to understand your VW's heartbeat. Do it regularly, do it mindfully, and note what you find, because every click, turn, and tap is feedback.